Hey everyone, what's up? It's Michael with Long Way Travels, and we're going to talk about my 10-year credit card journey and how I used to build my credit score and also use it for luxury travel around the world. Now let's talk about my 20 plus credit cards I have right here, and we're going to go through 1 through 22. Anyway, let's get on with the show. And here's the first credit card I got ever when I was in school. I got this in 2013. It's my Bank of America Cash Rewards card as it has a credit limit worth $34,000. I got this in 2013 as I was starting my credit card journey. And the reason I got it, my family was invested with Bank of America and we have checking and personal accounts and investment accounts. So I filed along with my parents' advice and I still have it till this day, an active card as well. I just wanna let you know today that I will be talking about all my active, cancel and retire cards as well. So my second card actually is the Wells Fargo Propel card. I got this card in 2016 with a credit limit of $7,000. As I got this during my earlier years as well when I finally got my first real job and I was like, why don't I get a credit card? As this card is known as a cashback card and I didn't get started in travel during not yet, but I wanna show you how I started building credit with different issuers and just, you know, just how my credit card journey started. But as you know with this card, this card did get product changed and we'll talk about it as we get further as this card is not being actively used anymore, at least for the Wells Fargo Propel card. So let's move on to some funny stuff here in 2016. I got the Express Next credit card. During that time, I was in that phase of getting cards and clothes and fashion and stuff. Use this for a couple of years to buy stuff during for work as well. So, dress for success. I just got out of my credit card journey. Well, it didn't help me shape it up, but just to show you what people do in their young age and buying and getting credit cards, stuff like that. So, Express Next card is my third credit card in my credit card journey. So, uh, as the years gone by, in 2016, I got the K Jewelers credit card. Once again, not a credit card, a charge card. I got this for player two and her engagement ring as I felt like it was one of the best ways to utilize my money during the days and not obviously I didn't get in the travel game with sign up bonuses. I wanted to stretch out my money and pay monthly payments. So I got this card. It's still open, um, hasn't closed it even though I haven't used it since I you know, got the ring. So um, yeah, fourth card of my journey, the K Jewelers charge card. The fifth card is the Best Buy credit card. Oh yeah, it is Best Buy credit card. I actually got this in 2018 with the with a limit of eight thousand dollars. As I got this for some appliances, stuff like that, TVs like that during my earlier days, and then once again out of travel, I just wanted to stretch out my money more and didn't mind making monthly payments with zero percent APR financing. Whether you felt that was the wrong or right thing to do, well, that's how I did in building. I guess once again my credit with companies over the years, so. I basically got it for those kind of purchases from Best Buy and I still have it active and I still use it sparingly, not too much, but yeah, the Best Buy credit card. Oh well, it gets even gets even weirder, right? Yeah, I'm still in that phase, still not there yet, but in 2019 I got the eBay MasterCard in 2019, I believe, and it's a $1,000 credit limit. And that's pretty much the reason why I stopped using it as much. I kept asking for limits whether I knew it or not. and. I was a, a bad eBay shopper for a lot of things, for a lot of my side hustles such as comics, and so I used it until things got kind of weird with eBay with their tax, stuff like that. So it's still an open line as well. I just don't use it as much, and I've kind of phased out at least for what I'm doing for that part. But yes, the next card in my line was the eBay Massacre. All right, so now we're getting to the travel game. This is what I talk about in all my videos, the Chase Sapphire Reserve in 2016. I still have the old car. I, it's about, it's got about a 12,700 credit limit because I've been balancing the limit. So it actually had like a 30,000 limit. But yeah, um, first premier travel card I got, I got it during that time when the annual fee was about 450. And part of the reason why I downgraded, I think in 2020, 21, was because that's when they raised the annual fee to 550 and that's when I downgraded the CSP. So I used it at the time when there wasn't as much premier lease lounge access, but I did use it for the travel credit and stuff like that. So. That was my first Premier Travel credit card, the Chase Sapphire Reserve. All right, we're gonna move on to more current cards here, and I got the Chase Freedom Flex. I got this in 2022, and it has a $17,000 credit limit because I did balance it from the CSR. But as you know, this card, no introduction, open line, use it for my quarterly categories, and I powered up and maximized it in my Chase Point as well for high stays and other international travel. Not gonna go into much detail, but definitely one of my powers because I use with zero dollar annual fee as well. So once again, I've got the Chase Sapphire Preferred. I've retired mine while Player 2 still has hers. But as you know, this was product change in the 2020s as I could not handle that $550 annual fee when it raised to 100 bucks in 2020. So I've got it here, this nice metal card. And 
obviously you'll see where it goes down the line. But yes, another card, retired, but wanted to show you my credit card collection, the Chase Sapphire Preferred. So here we go. Active card I still have, and I've talked about this many, many times, like Capital One Venture X card. I got the card in 2022 with a $15,000 credit limit. As I right now, it is my premier travel card I use for lounge access, 2X catch all, all that stuff I've talked about in the past. And with the annual fee coming up in August, we'll see if I decide to keep it. More than likely, I will. But yes, great card to have, easy card you use, easy perks, credits, and of course, lounge access for the Capital One lounges. So once again, that is one of my premier credit cards. And right now, as of right now, it is my highest card I have in my lounge with the biggest annual fee. So that's what I have next, the Capital One Venture X. So as of last year in March, I got the, the built MasterCard and it's got a $14,000 credit card limit. I used this as my food card for a while and I did use it for rent for a little bit. Nice black metal card and it's great for you know your rent day, stuff like that. But yes, during my credit card hustle when I started going over Chase Tribe 24, it was one of the first cards I got. I still use it sparingly. I still use it for transfer bonus. I still use it for when I can. Great card to have for zero dollar annual fee. Yes, the built MasterCard. Well, if you saw my last video on the Parkway card, retention over, check it out here. But this came with an $18,000 credit limit. I got this last year as well during my hustle in May. And yeah, it's a great card for the one hit easy bonus of AA miles. And I use it for my international trips, obviously to Japan. So not enough to say about that, but it's a great card to have one and done. Of course, I didn't get the great retention offer. And you'll see what it looks like for the next card if you haven't seen in my other videos. But yes, the Barclays Red Aviator card from American Airlines was my next credit card in my credit card journey. So the Hilton Surpass card is next. The nice OG blue one, $14,000 credit limit. Got it in May. And it's a nice card to have. You know, um, I tried Hilton for a year. I, I stayed a couple properties you see here. Did some nice luxury stays. Used the credits to its maximum. But they didn't feel I was getting enough value. And the retention offer in that video, as I've shown again, was not good enough for to keep it with that new annual fee of $150 when it went from $95 and I couldn't justify it. So it's still an open card, it got downgraded. And yes, I did product change to the white one, but that was my next card I got, the American Express Hilton Surpass card. Well, and my frenzy once again, May was a great month as I got the Discover It card, $0 annual fee card in May, $8,000 credit limit. As I noted, I used it for a balance transfer during a situation last year and it's been good. You know, it's a, it's a 5X rotating category for cashback, which I can use and I don't mind. And it's, like I said, it's very easy, good issuer, very good bank, just apparently not in a lot of parts internationally. Nice blue card and not as cheap looking as well to discover a card in my credit card lineup. And I don't plan on canceling this card with zero down your fee and definitely don't mind having it going forward as my hybrid setup. All right, as I started my business, I got the blue business plus card June last year with a $6,000 credit limit. I don't know what else you want me to say more about the card and it's a great 2X card. It does duplicate with the Capital Venture X, but still 2X and access to the Amex travel partners is a huge deal and a good replacement if you decide to cancel your Amex card and having a transfer card for the MR points for America's Blue Business Plus. And I can't say anything more than it's a great card to have. Definitely be on the lookout for my one year review, but otherwise that's my next card in my credit card journey. America Chess Blue Business Plus. Well, this card is going to be retired very soon, as you've seen the news here with the curve card. I got this in July last year, and um, like I said, it's just basically a conduit card, very low credit limit, as I believe, if you can't even charge with it. And I used it for international travel this past in May, and it was great, you know, using it with the Fresh Freedom Flex and Discover It card. But due to recent news, obviously, it's been retired, at least in the US, with maybe some type of, I don't know, annual fees. So, more like this would be one of my first cards. I probably won't be using that much anymore because of the news in this card. But the curve card was the next card I got in my credit card journey last year in July. So shortly after that, the Propel card, what happened? It became a Wells Fargo active cash card in August of last year. So I didn't ask for it. It just kind of came and I could probably product it to the autograph card. But for now, I'll keep it. Like I said, it's just a 2% catch-all card for cash back, I believe. And I already notated the credit limit in my lap and previously with the Propel card, so I won't go over with that. But yes, I have this card, at least in the Wells Fargo ecosystem. It's an active card and I don't really use it that much, but maybe as time goes by, I will. But the next card I have in my lineup, at least in my credit card portfolio, is a Wells Fargo active cash card. All right, next business card I got up here is the America's Just Business Gold card. I got this last year in September. Um, for business purposes and also for like great sign-up bonuses and also it's a good card to have for the perks as I used it 
a Walmart Plus credit, which I'll talk in my one-year review in the coming months, and then a $20 office credit as well, and it's got some good multipliers as well. But great card to have, great metal card, and getting into Mega Express ecosystem with the business cards. Yeah, it is also a very hefty 375 annual fee, which has increased, I think, from 250 or 275. Let me know in the comments below what I think about that. But I haven't decided I'm going to keep it after year one, but it's got a good card. I've used the values, but we'll see how it goes. But the next card I got in my credit card history is the America Express Business Full Card. So you're wondering what happened with that CSR, the CSP, and all that stuff? Here we go. The Chase Freedom Ultimate Rewards Card, also known as the Chase OG Card. I got it, downgraded it, and I want another 5% rotating category credit card, and there it is. The Chase Freedom Card with that $17,000 credit limit. And I will use it now to max out my Chase Multipliers, as it's a great card to have when you combo it with the Chase Trifecta and transfer it to Travel Partners. I don't need to say more than that, but just have another 5% rotating flex card is great to have. While it doesn't have the 3% or 3x on the drugstores and food purchases, meaning that you have to basically just use this for the rotating categories, because otherwise you'll get a 1x for everything else. But yes, next card I have is a Chase Freedom Ultimate Rewards card, which I don't know at this point, you can still get it, product changing, but definitely try to see if you can get it. It's a great card to have. But I remember I got this at the end of January of 2024. Well, if you saw my video on the retention offers, then you know I downgraded my Hilton Surpass card to the regular Hilton Honors No Annual Fee card. A nice white color. I'm not going to talk about the credit limit. I got this obviously last year, and the retention offer wasn't good to keep it. So I have it. I'm still planning on probably seeing some Hiltons. I've got some Hilton points stored in my account. So yeah, I'll probably utilize it, but obviously I want to keep that relationship with the America, but still open as well, especially on the personal side, you know, with the whole pop up show stuff going on. So. Next card I have, and still gonna use it as an open card, is the American Express Hilton Honors card with the new white design. And of course, it's your darn fee. All right, so once again, if you watched that retention offer video, I downgraded my Barclays Red Aviator card to the regular Barclays no annual fee, I think silver card. Data point show you can do it, some people have done it, but I can definitely tell you it's highly likely. And also, that retention offer they gave me was pretty crappy, though, I'm not gonna lie. The offer had to be bad because of what I put the spell on, which was basically nothing because of sign of was so easy to hit. So I'm okay with that, but I still keep it open for the same reason for American Express. And I'm still eyeing some Barclay cards in the future, such as the Wyndham Earner or the JetBlue Business or even the Hawaiian cards. So I have to keep my relationship open with Barclays and keep this open, at least for now, with the Barclays um, Aviator No Annual Fee Credit Card. And the last card I have here is a City AA Vantage Business Card, my last card approval, $16,000 credit limit. I got this, I believe, in February 2024. And yeah, I would say I pretty much got this for the big sign-up bonus, which was like 50,000 AA points. I'm trying to use it more for what it is, but it's hard based on where I'm located. But still, it doesn't just, I just think AA miles are so important, so I don't mind using it and burning this. And also, this annual fee is way in the first year. So try out, I don't have to pay an annual fee, so it's another reason why Reality for the travel I do, the annual fees I have are pretty low, but will I decide to keep it or not next year? We'll see. But yes, this is my last card I got in my credit card lineup, the City AA Advantage Business Credit Card. All right, that's it, everyone. That's what I got. That's my credit card history in the 10 plus years I've had and being in the credit card game. Let me know in the comment below what you all think about my credit card histories, the value I got, the annual fees, all that stuff. I will do a subsequent annual fees video right after this, probably next week. But let me know what you think, the credit cards I obtain, earn and burn, the K Euler stuff, necessary or not, please let me know in the comments below. Please let me know because I want to see if you found value in this video and it helps you understand someone's credit card journey over the last 10 years. But anyway, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, as always. And I'll see you on the next one as I appreciate everyone joining and watching my content. As I say in all my videos, life is short. Travel more, right? I'll see you on the next one.